Hey, this is Leo at Lee Time. In today's video, I want to show you how to extract the juniper berry by steam distillation and explain its benefits. Spring's here finally. It's time to go out to see the green, watch the blossom and smell the flower. This is a natural aromatherapy. Today I would like to present you this little powerful fruit, juniper berry. It looks like a blueberry, but actually it's a seed cone. It contains a good amount of oil and other nutrients. Let me start the distillation. While doing that, I will introduce you the benefits. This is dried uh, juniper berry. Juniper berry has a more oil compared with uh, its leaf and the stem. Juniper berry has a pine tree smell because it contains alpha piney, which also exists in the pine needle. Juniper berry is definitely rich in alpha piney, which takes up to 50% or even more within the essential oil distilled from the berry. It is much higher than that within the pine needle essential oil. Alpha piney is also an active compound within cannabis essential oil. It takes around 10%. I'm going to introduce you the three benefits of the alpha piney based on the scientific research. The first one is antioxidant. During a cell study, they mixed the alpha piney with the aspirin on the cells. They found the Alpha penny can help survive of the cells within the environment. The cytotoxicity and oxidative stress was depressed. It proved its uh, strong antioxidant activity of the alpha piney. Second, anti-inflammatory. An animal study indicates that alpha piney has an anti-inflammatory effect and is a potential candidate as a new drug to treat various inflammatory diseases. Number three, neuroprotective. Another animal study concluded that alpha piney has a neuroprotective effects during the ischemic stroke through the attenuating the neural inflammation. Besides the study on the alpha piney, research also presented antibacterial, antifungi, antimicrobial property of the juniper essential oil. Now it's about 30 minutes. Uh, let's take a look at the distillate. So I can see there is a layer of oil on the top. It's, uh, let's say it's a good amount of oil. The hydrosol is a pretty cloudy. The cloudy hydrosol because it has a oil dispersing the water. You may heard hydrosol is a byproduct of uh, essential oil production. Actually, when you buy the hydrosol, if they say that's a byproduct, that means it's not a concentrated hydrosol. So what's the difference? When they make the essential oil, they want to get as much as oil possible. Because this is cloudy, 
there can be 10% of the oil dispersed in the, in the water. So they normally do the extraction by using the solvent, like a hexane. That is the solvent they use to extract the oil out of the water. Then they distill the hexane to extract the oil out. So they can get uh, most oil for their, as a product. But if you make hydrosol by yourself, so actually you are having the oil dispersed in the water. Your having could be up to 10% of that yield of the oil dissolved or dispersed in the hydrosol. So this hydrosol is much concentrated. So that's why I call it concentrated hydrosol. When you do the distillation, you also notice the milky color is changing, getting uh, lighter with time. Once the oil, most of the oil coming out, so there is no more oil can be dispersed in the hydrosol. You won't see like a very milky or white color hydrosol, but you will see like a more clear ones. So at that time point, it's a good uh, marker to tell you, yeah, it's time to finish your distillation. I'm gonna pour the hydrosol into the spray bottle. There are four ways to use the juniper berry hydrosol. The first one is the skin toner. It is good for the oily skin or acne skin because it is uh, anti-inflammatory and uh, antibacterial. The second is uh, it's used for the diuretic. It can help push out the intracellular water and uh, boost the kidney function. And it can also be used uh, on the arthritis condition, topically and also internally. But because it's a diuretic, it's not good for the people who has a kidney problem or has a bladder sensitive bladder issue. Third, it's energetic. It's a perfect uh, home spray. You can spray in the air or put in the diffuser. This is wonderful to be used during the work. Number four is a cooking use. You can use to marinate uh, the meat or put in the sauce or the gravy. Juniper berry has been used in the gin and the gin has the flavor of this special the fruit. There are a couple things you need to be careful. First, there's some juniper berries are toxic. You need to find the edible varieties such as uh, juniperus commonus. The second, if you are pregnant or have a decreased kidney function, you should avoid the juniper berry. Thank you for watching. Please share with us how you use a juniper berry. Please like the video if you find some helpful information from it. Subscribe to the channel and see you next Saturday.